Say we want to create a many-to-many -many relationship with QuickBase. I'm using Lucid Charts here just to show that uh, a scenario that we're going to build here in just a second. We have members, uh, we have registrations and classes. And a member will have many registrations over its uh, life as a member. And it will be different classes. So here we're very simply going to make a connection this way. And this is the one to many. And you can see the crow's feet here is the many side. And this is one to many. That means that you don't have to repeat all the detail about the classes when you fill out the registration. You merely pull it in and it inherits all the information about the class. And the same thing goes, you're filling out a registration. You don't want to have to fill out the member's name, address, city, state, zip, and all that kind of stuff each time. So everything will get deposited here in the registration because of the benefit of the relationship. Member stuff has its stuff, classes has its stuff, and everything comes together in what we call a many-to-many -many relationship. So let's go and create what this um, is in real quick base. So I'm on my dashboard. I click over here to create new. Now there are a couple of different ways of creating this. I'm going to actually use the new visual builder here to make that happen. And we'll, we'll call this the uh, member uh, uh, class registration, class registrations. Okay, so that's the name of our application and we need a table here and this very first table and let me move it over just a little bit here this first table is going to be called members and the types of things we might have in here might be the name of the member and we might also add their title and t t uh, and let's back up here just for a second text, multi-choice, rich text, multiple choice. That'll be a drop-down box. And we'll get their address. And that's um, A for address. Where are you? Right there. Okay, so we've got the name, the title, the address. I'll just do the phone and the email and we'll call it a day here. This uh, is a phone and I know I'm going to find it right here, the formatting. And then the email address is a an email address. Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Email. Okay. So we've defined what the member table has. Um, we want to add another table. And let's say that this one is uh, registrations. Uh, actually, I'm going to add this one as classes. And what do we have in the class? Well, there's probably the date of the class. Um, and that would be D, whoops, we'll use the letter D and I might find it faster. Okay, there. What else we have at the class? Oh, we have the class name and that would be text. We have um, the hours or, yeah, the hours that this is going to be and that could be a numeric. And then we might have details, the syllabus and a whole bunch of stuff like this. Details might be multiple line. We could have file attachments for the syllabus, all that kind of stuff. Okay, so we've got this class table. And now um, we want to put something right in the middle of them, which is the registration. And this is the many-to-many -many relationship that we're going to be building here. And let's add this as registrations. And what is in a registration? Well, really, it's the uh, it's um, the information about the member, the information about the classes, and what else are we going to put in there? So let's make this connection um, uh, where members. And before I make that connection here, what is it about the registration? Well, we have the date, so I'm gonna I want to have something in here. This is when it, when I um, put this registration in here. So I'm going to look up the, the date field just to have something in here. Also, we could have the um, uh, status of the registration because it might have to be approved, right? So we have a multiple choice down here. Okay, so now we've got the three, um, three items here and I want to take this and connect it to this. 
and such that a member has many opportunities for registration and classes I want it to have come up here because a class can be registered by many people and create and now I know I've got the let me collapse this section over here because really this looked like this on the diagram that I was doing in the lucid charts and let's pull that over here move that over there uh, whoops excuse me registrations are in the middle and that's you can see the arrows are pointing to the common middle area here so this is and a member can create many registrations and it reuses the information on both sides so let's create the application okay now there's no information in here so let's add a member really quickly and we'll say John Smith and he's the uh, we can say president this could have been a multiple choice drop-down box and we'll say this is in Sanibel Florida um, and the phone number is uh, 239-555-1212 and it is J Smith at uh, example.com okay so we we have a person now one record for a person we don't have any registration information yet but we're going to create a class and it's going to be called um, and let's say this class is going to be held on Friday the 22nd and it's uh, uh, trout fishing and it's going to be a four hour window of time and uh, and we're going to be um, looking for bass I don't know whatever that detail is we want to see okay now something lives here something whoops excuse me here something lives here now usually when I'm doing a many to many I'll actually move this into the middle because I like to see it in the middle I, I know that's kind of a, a an unnecessary thing but I like to come down to the tables and actually drag the middle one the many to many right in between the uh, the two of them so let's take a look at what it looks like all right we have a membership over here we have John Smith let's sign up in a registration for so I'll add a registration and now the information it says member one which is the record ID of the member over here and it says president I'd like to have the name there and it will be there in a minute but let's say that is this is today and the status the status uh, is uh, registered and this could be a, a multiple choice field too evidently I didn't do that now which class am I making a selection for the trout fishing one and save okay we now have a member with a registration now we've added some fields here but they're not represented here yet so what I might say is well I want a whole bunch of information about the class information that gets passed down let's look at this over here in registration and you can see we have the class we have the dates and all the information that we could want um, to show over here on the members side well we, our report and we call this a report link is not showing it so I'm going to right click on this field and edit the form now the reason I'm editing this is because I want to um, actually look at the report that's displayed on the page we call this a report link and you can see the type of field is a report link um, I'm going to change the settings uh, which allows me to to come over and select the things inside that we want to have shown so we have the date and the status that's probably good but I want the class um, name I want the class date um, we have um, was that all the information we have is the class name and the class date I guess that's all that's all we did so so that will be I thought we had yeah we did trout fishing and okay save so now you can see the embedded report will say date and the status this is the registration date and this is the class and there's trout fishing and this and so we have now updated what this report called embedded for members is so let's save this and now when I scroll down I can see the detail 
Now let's go on the um, other side of the fence over here for classes. Uh, when I look at a class, I should be able to see all the registrations. And there we have, we're, they're registered and it's John Smith and he's the president. And, and if you want to change this embedded report, you do the same thing. You edit the form, you come over here and you change the settings. And then you can decide what it is that you want to include or not include. Like uh, we have the date, the status, the member name, and the, and the title. We could bring down their address, their city, state, zip, and all that kind of stuff if, if we really wanted to. Okay, now to go back and let's create a new class. And this one will be held on, um, oh, so cooking a turkey. And it's going to, I know that it, it takes a while to do that. All about doing it in a bag. And there, that is a known class we're going to have, right? So the same member over here now, uh, John Smith wants to register for that. So we add a registration. Now, the thing about a many to many is it, since all this stuff gets dumped on the form, this doesn't look pretty yet. But you can see that I could select either trout fishing or cooking a turkey. And the th picker that we're looking at may not be as pretty as we want. In fact, up above, remember I said this one that isn't really helpful. Uh, so where does this come from? This comes from the member table. I'm going to go over to the member table and under settings, I'm going to adjust the record picker for whenever somebody pulls something out of this member table, the record picker is already doing record ID, but all I want is their name and I don't need anything else over here. So I'm going to get rid of this stuff. So that'll clean this one up. Now, the other one was the same, and that one was for the classes. If I came over to classes and I look at the record picker and I come down into the advanced settings, the record picker says record ID, date, and class. I just need the, um, the class name. That's the first thing. Now, I like the, having the date there because it might be repeated throughout the year, and I want to make sure I select the right one. So I'm going to leave that in there. So now let's go take a look at that middle record again. Uh, we'll look at it from the perspective of the member, and we're going to be adding a new registration. So we add a new registration. Now, notice John Smith's name now shows up here. And down below, when I select this, it's very clean. I've got the name of the class and I have the dates because we've updated the uh, record picker. And of course the status is, let's say, pending on this one. And the date of that is uh, that we're filling this out for this registration is, is, is today. So I'm gonna just put today here and save. Now, this allows us to do multiple registrations without having to re-key in all the details about the class. Um, and, and also when you add a registration, you look left, you look right, and you pull all that common information in. If I added the registration from the middle now, I could select it like this, John Smith for Trout Fishing in America, and I could do it like that. Uh, now, some of the time people will clean this up a little bit. They'll, what, they'll, what they'll do is they'll maybe right click on this form and edit the field pro form properties rather. And in doing that, they can put little check boxes that let it tab over. So I might even formalize the header of this and call this registration, red registration. And I like to put the labeling on the above. So we have the date and the status. Um, we have the member information and the title of the member. We have the class date and this. So we could actually insert a section for each one of these. And so this is the information about the member. And we'll put this there. And this is about the class. So I'm going to insert just these little breaks that happen to segment off the information. And we'll say class and we'll say above and now let's take a look at the form okay we come in here now we could right click 
and edit the date field and say, you know, I want this to be today. By default, I'm selecting that. And by the way, the status should always be pending first, so I might set the default value to be pending. Um, and you could actually make this a multiple choice where pending is an option and registration or registered um, is the another option. And we can allow people to add additional choices if you want. So anyway, we're, the whole purpose of this is to, we're cleaning this up, John Smith and cooking the turkey. And so John Smith has signed up twice for this. And if I click here, it'll take me over to John Smith's information. If I click here, it'll take me back up to the class. So let's look at John's. And there we go. We're two cooking turkey um, sections have already been created there. And if we go back over to the classes, I can look up cooking a turkey and see how many people are registered. And I've got two registrations for uh, John Smith, the uh, president for cooking a turkey. So that's a way of creating a many-to-many -many relationship. Uh, there is a feature in QuickBase, if you click on Settings from the Home tab, just so that to, to know about it, App Management, that it shows you the diagram. And this um, will show that we have uh, members over here on the left. We also have classes over here. And you can see they're both pointing at the registration. And that's where the many-to-many -many, this ends up matching this here. This was our intention, and I, I, I think we succeeded. Have a great day.